Okay, so here we are again. Uh, carrying on from last time, uh, where I kind of got a bit of the unique elements out of the render pass, I, when I ran XR VR mode, there were a whole bunch of Vulcan validation errors that I need to fix up, or try to fix up as best as I can. So let me make sure I actually have VR running, and then run the application, making sure that I actually have it turned on, right? Right, 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 right? Yes. So, still got a lot of bunch, yeah, we still got a whole bunch of errors. That's insane. Um, so, exit out of that. And what we're going to do, we're going to step and just do one, whoop, one frame at a time and figure out exactly where we're going wrong. And the fact that it still doesn't exit cleanly. Mm -hmm. Okay, XR, 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 XR. Here we go. Do, 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 do. We'll just kind of go through from here, right? Require the next target, require the swap chain image. Okay, okay. We're gonna go through to this point. Nothing yet. Get the command buffer, okay. Getting a scissor, we got the dummy stuff out of the way, rendering the target buffer, beginning the render pass, we're fine there. Let's just go all the way to the draw. Oh, nope, there were a bunch of errors. That was a wrong mode. Invalid image layout, okay. Let's just go do an entire command render pass. That even if we skip, we get to here and we could see in an isolated manner. Actually, that's true. Hold on, stop it. Stop it! We're just gonna do something without rendering anything. It's just begin and end, end render pass. That's that's it. So we begin and then we end. Okay. How can this possibly go wrong? And I bet the answer is going to be very... Okay, that's a bunch of, I don't know, that's outside of my application. Okay, here. Ready. Continue. Do, 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 do. We are changing it to transfer destination optimal. Okay, that's great. Okay, we, right, because we're copying it from the off uh, buffer to this, resolving. Okay. And then we're changing it from destination to source. Okay, 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 okay. Releasing the swap chain image, okay. Okay, I have it in source and it's expecting it to be color attachment optimal. Okay. Uh, so we want to go to that point. Okay.
Okay. Come back through. We have a bunch of stuff to happen in the meantime. Okay. Okay, now we're back into VK graphics. Okay. I mean, that makes... Oh, yeah. Whether or not it's something that's done by me, it'll be coming out of that. Maybe we'll actually want a different log just for validation output. Vulcan validation. Because if I was to, you know what, I'm actually going to do it. If I put the call, debug call back, so what I'm looking at, I'm looking at a warning here. I'm going to bet it's going to be like messages that are being brought to me from the XR implementation, so Steam VR instead of my stuff. See, so we're going to be here, and it's going to be, yeah, through VR client, a bunch of VR client stuff. Mm, yeah, I don't have any of this stuff. It's just nothing. Okay. I can still try to minimize them, though. Okay. Stuff's outside of my area. Okay. Here we go. Invalid image layout. Okay, that's, I, I'm just going to have to, like, have this just. Every time we come into here, just going to have to have it in there. Okay, next time. Uh, what do we got? Something, something inside of VR, which is to do with whatever this. For optimal performance, that should be that. Okay. Let's go for the errors. Well, that's a lot less errors than it was before. So, yay. So, there's just this warning stuff from being from Valve's implementation. Somewhere in there. There's really not much I can do about this. Is there anything I can do online? Hold on, let me check to see if like Steam VR is open source or something. Okay. What happens if like there's not much I can really do on Steam VR? The open the only open source thing they have is uh like a very old like 
token project that they used for issues, I think. And that's about it. Maybe I'll check the Steam forms, but there's no way I can actually like have a look at what's going on inside, I think. What else is actually in here? Mm. Ooh. Oh, same thing. It's for tracking stuff. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, re-enabling everything else. What goes wrong? I know I got rid of the last error. The Vulcan, uh, the... With a wrong, uh, image layout. Although they have another one inside for performance stuff, but... Yeah. Do what you can. Come on, start, start, start. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's just this, right? Just this again. That's it. Oops. Okay, killing it that way... Works pretty well. Now let's see what I can. What happens if I... Uh, Try to exit gracefully because I have this problem where it doesn't actually exit properly. It just kind of hangs around in the back. And if I just kind of let's see, see, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on about it's stuff is being destroyed before it should have been. And then if I pause it, it's sitting inside of Steam VR somewhere. Which is not very useful. Um, is it because... Why am I trying to destroy this? I'm trying to destroy this as one of the very last things. I me Oh, you know what? Hold on. When do I, oh, I start uh, XR? I start... I create the window. I start the XR runtime. And then I create the graphics runtime, and then the graphics session. I created it before because I need to get. I need to have, be available so I can get the stuff I need from it. I need the like any extensions and layers beforehand. I need to get that from the runtime, but. I'm probably accidentally deleting XR before it has the ability to properly destroy stuff, and that's causing a bunch of other issues. So, is there a way to open XR? When do I, when do, I do destroy session? Okay, I destroy the session right here. I end the session, then I destroy the session. Okay, so I'm probably running into issues right here on exit. So let's kind of run through this. It's still looking right, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, we quit, we exit, we're here. Great, we're here. Quest exit session. Transitioning. Stopping, that's great. From idle. Okay, I'm trying to destroy the render target. I destroy the render target, great. I clear off the render targets. I'm going through the views. Destroying the swap chain. Then I destroy the session. Great. Okay. Let's 
destroying the uh, the upload context, destroying stuff, destroy the session. That's okay. You know what? It's probably because uh, this. I may have to do this before I destroy the session. Maybe there's runtime specific stuff. So we go to there instead. If I run that, that should destroy the stuff. Hopefully, do you initialize? Oh, sorry, not that. Yep, 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 yep. I go here. I deinitialize simulation. Great. XR runtime. I'm destroying the runtime stuff. Why is this actually inside of there? Should just be able to do that. Same thing here, right? Okay, um, <clears throat> that, what about, okay, let me check the other thread pool. Something I completely forgot about. I imagine I was probably doing for whatever reason. Or, you know what, I'll do that later. I'll do that offline, that's very boring. And it needs to be tested a lot of times. Move thread. Task if statement. Because right now I'm trying to figure out this just getting stuck in something somewhere for some reason. Okay, let me see. This there's got to be Steam forms I can figure out. Uh, dev forms I can find for this. B R A B. Mm, doesn't really seem to reveal anything and you want having similar issues so what if I mm, what if I do this what if I wait for everything before I move on to destroying the runtime
Nope. Same deal. We're just stuck in here somewhere. Just waiting for destruction of a thread. That just doesn't happen. Mm hmm. Wait, hold on. Is this supposed to be a loop? Maybe I'm trying to exit out way too early. Uh, XR spec. Show me the way. Um, okay. Uh, Going to here. Find this. Function line one twenty seven XRN session. Okay. Actually, let's move this over. all of these there may be an actual example of what's supposed to be happening down here somewhere oh this is an extension Okay, uh, XR session state stopping, but does that mean it's stopped or? Okay, this.
XR end session. Receiving the session state stopping is state indicates that the runtime is determined that the application should halt its rendering loop. Should exit the rendering loop and call XR end session when in this when in this state. Possible reason for this would be to minimize contention between multiple applications. Receiving the state exiting. Just keep running until we actually get the exit thing. Then we run end session. Okay, where is that? Where is that chart? There it is. Idle. Da, 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 da. So we go runtime, stop session. Then we end session. Now we're idle. Then we want to quit. Then we destroy the session. Next, our end session gets to that. Okay. So that takes us to the exiting state, right? Yeah, we get to the stopping state. Yeah, sorry. So we've hit stopping. We've we've stopped the session, request exit session. So we've got to the stopping state, then we call end session, then it's going into idle. So we want to keep hitting this until we get to the idle. And then state idle. While we're waiting it for it to be come idle, then we go. Then we get out to do session idle. Okay. Once we're idle, then we go to the exiting state. We want to figure out the exiting, which would be how? Destruction of the session? I think. Okay, let's just see how this goes. Because I'm honestly betting I got this exit uh, incorrect. It has to be, somehow. Okay, okay, okay. Go to there. Then we go. Now we're here. Okay, then we want to go to here. Positioning from idle to exiting. So we went to idle to exiting, and then we destroy session. Is that just the problem? Was that okay? We destroyed the session, and now we're stuck there again, aren't we? Ah! When it's trying to close workers, or and these aren't even my workers. They these are the workers that Steam VR has. Like how? This is the moment when I'm supposed to go into XR destroy session, right? We're in the exiting state. Or are we? Hold on. It says it's transitioning. That doesn't necessarily mean it has been. Yet. And then, okay, once I'm here, I need to make sure I go to session, 
I need to actually make sure I'm in the exiting state before I, uh... Destroy session. Yeah, I'm destroying this session. Thank you. I may just be going, like, a little bit too fast for myself. Okay. Sorry? Okay. Okay, keep going. We're now going to the exiting state, that's great. We're gonna keep going until we hit that. We'd never actually do that. <sighs> Ever. Okay, we've got an error code of some sort. What is... Tell me! What is the error code? Mm -hmm. Show me, show me. <laughs> okay, we're here. We have an error. What? Is this log just not do anything? Okay, we've got an error code of some sort, anonymousness. What is going on? Data buffer varying, there's, there's just nothing, there's no... There's just no events anymore. Um, see, I know it changed to idle, okay. And then at this point, this is where I would start doing this stuff. 
and then I would call to destroy the session. Oh, no, 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 it's the other way around. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, isn't it? I got this backwards, don't I? Oh, because I'm supposed to get to the exiting state before I destroy a session. I've got this afterwards. <gasps> Whoops, diddly doodly. Okay, now we're exiting, great. Go to this, we're destroying the session. Successfully just, uh, changed app type, great. Now we're gonna freeze up inside of destruction of everything else. Okay, uh, validation. Save me validation and debugging errors and what have you. I got them, yeah. There must be something else that I'm missing. I turn off this and this one. We just minimize it, just the XR stuff. I must be missing something somewhere. Okay, what is this? Messenger parameter, invalid messenger pointer. Okay, interesting. When is this happening? When I destroy a session, probably? Or is it when I'm destroying everything else? Okay, not there. Ooh, not there. We go to there. Then we have this. Invalid messenger pointer. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, why? Um. Crap. So we're going into uh, uh, XR destruction. That's great. Session. Destroy session or runtime. So this is invalid, apparently. So I'm here. That is invalid, supposedly. Okay, uh, when I create the runtime, this, I have this, right? debug messenger right this starts off as a null so it's being set it started it gave me that which is what uh, 335 b0 I go ahead I do stuff uh, the application starts and runs in the back 
Exit. I come back out. So 33.5 B0 and it says, oh, this is invalid. What? You gave it to me. The XR Debug Utils Messenger, yeah. Apparently that's a null pointer, okay. I guess they have a C++ stuff going on in here. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I must have done this before, but okay, let's um just you know not do this then hmm? if we don't destroy does it like actually fix anything the answer is no Steam thread tools. Steam thread tools. Mm, no, this is not open, so I can't see it or fix or fi find out what the hell's going on. Okay. So. I'm going to assume that this is probably something to do with specifically with Arch. And that their uh, Debian Ubuntu runtime is probably better somehow. Or that this is designed for Ubuntu 2004. And that it's doing something slightly different that makes it not break. And then it's just like an incompatibility somehow. Because what else am I supposed to think at this point? I don't understand. Like there, everyone else's applications don't break. Maybe they're still using like the open old the old open VR. Because this was only what open XR support was only added like la a year ago, basically last June, July. So maybe no one is actually using it beyond developers. Okay, well, whatever. I fixed something, and obviously there's other things going on on the Vulcan side that they have to fit, uh, they have to deal with for performance and validation. But uh, at the moment, I get that's as far as I can go. Again, I, I'll. That's it. I'll keep this stuff. Um, the
to the expected color attachment optimal. Yeah, for certain destruction calls. That, that, and that will not quite do that, shall we? for destroying number of Vulcan Maybe, okay, hold on. Let me actually kind of. Move that stuff around again. Okay, we've got the session. Destroy the session, then we maybe destroy that, then destroy the runtime, or. Let's, let's see. What, it, and uh, actually change up the. What exactly is not being destroyed here? Hmm? Like what types of objects? Okay. Bunch of a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my god. Uh command buffers. Um, just regular buffers, semaphores, fences, bunch of memory, image views, shader modules, a lot of shader modules. Holy crap, a lot of shader modules. Frame buffers, command pools. And if I don't do XR, right? If I actually just don't compile any of that in. And run it and run through this like there are zero like none nothing from that i've created is stuff that uh should have been deleted all right this is all steam vr open xr stuff please yeah okay Is there another place I can test it? I can go into Windows. I can go onto Windows and try it there, actually, couldn't I? I think so. 
Let me reboot into Windows and try it there. Uh, let me just save this others. Okay, revert that. Don't care about that. Get rid of those last two. Okay. Okay, I'll put that up, swap to Windows, see how, if I can get any of these uh, things to crop up as well there, and then uh, we'll see. Okay, uh, great news, I guess. It doesn't appear to be on Windows, and I found this bug, number 422 on SteamVR, that actually is exactly what I'm hitting, and, every, and other people are hitting it. So it is literally just the fact that all the actual released applications are using older like open VR implementations or whatever, rather than open XR. And that, uh, yeah, so it's not, it's not a me issue. Thank, just thanks, everything, holy crap. So I'll, I'll, I guess I'll leave this XR nonsense there with a bunch of clean, with the cleanup of errors and stuff and a bunch of buggy, debugging that went nowhere, of course. Classic, cheers. Okay, uh, supposedly, according to the bug, if you go back to the Steam 114 on Linux, it's a better thing. So, let's see if it'll actually work. First of all, let's try it just with it here, and then I'll move it up if it actually fixes it. Because if it's just a bug with newer versions of Steam VR, then maybe. Like, yes, yeah, 114 instead now. Mm -hmm. We exit out. We have a bunch of errors. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, we still have the, mes the me messenger stuff. Whatever. Let's move this. Where's this? Where's the Steve VR view? There it is. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, very nice, very nice, great, 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 great. Quitting it, great. We're here. Destroy the runtime. We did it successfully. Great. Destroy. Okay, let's not debug. We'll just let it fly. And don't tell me destroying the XR runtime is just like screwing something else real bad. Nope, everything is still there. Oh, come on. It, this had better not be a case of like they're just lazily expecting the application to just like drop everything. I definitely do destroy this stuff earlier. Right? This is in the case of... Uh... Let's actually see. So we're going through the XR views and stuff. We don't actually clear this stuff, right? Okay, we destroy render targets, image views, swap chains. Great. Okay. Let's just do something at the end here. Let's say just at the very end, okay? Debug everything to right to the end. We'll see if I can actually match anything. Like maybe something maybe there's something that I'm doing wrong. Okay, we're here. Uh let's see if I can find
XR views, images. D6, D7, D8, okay. Okay, we only have this stuff. So let's just uh, do, 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 do. D6. Okay, we've got a bunch of images. D3, C, D, E8, E. Okay. Let's uh, go to, what's it? Got app. XR runtime. We go into here. For XR views. Images. C D is right there. D zero is right there. D three is also right there. So these have not been destroyed. Okay. But these aren't things I get up anyways, right? These are things I'm getting from elsewhere. I get these XR view. See, I've created this swap chain, and then I get the images out. Am I not destroying the swap chain? View swap chain. So the view on this one is what? This is E2, E5, E8. So I am successfully, I'm calling destroy swap chain. You better be destroying the swap chain. You're, you're probably not. Okay, what about image views? What do we got? D2, CF, D5. D6, D7, D8. And E, B, E, C, E, D. These must be the ones that are done are managed again by Steam VR. So I'm just I'm just spending more and more time convincing myself that it's not my fault. And it realistically isn't seeming even though I call like XR run destroy runtime before destroy session for Vulcan stuff, it still hasn't fully deleted stuff. Is there
home XR spec. Reopen that right here. XR destroy session, XR destroy instance. This is what this does, right? Destroy runtime, destroys the instance. Yeah. Okay, X. This is supposed to be something I'm supposed to wait for afterwards. I should probably be returning that. Mm -hmm. I should be returning that. Just to see what it, what is coming out hmm? now that it is returning stuff. Uh, Good instance XR runtime. That's not what I want to give. Okay, why is this up here? Actually, why? Just do this right here. Okay, I see that how that's supposed to work. And I don't care. I'm just run, I'm just running this. Let's see if we're getting anything interesting out of it. Yeah. 
nothing. It returns successfully. Wow. If this is what success looks like, then I don't want it. Okay, that's it. Now this is the real ooh, voice break. I'm just getting frustrated with this. I'm just the, the I'm just annoyed, frustrated at this so much. It's gonna be absolute havoc to deal with down the line. Alright, this is for real. Cheers.